Since my appointment as Head of Mission and Force Commander of UNIFIL in July, this is the first opportunity I have had to travel to Marjoun to address this distinguished and important audience of key leaders. I think the term key leader is appropriate as I believe that one of the most fundamental and enduring features of Lebanese society is its sense of community and the respect that the people of the South have for their religious, political and civil leaders. Therefore, peace in South Lebanon is a work in progress and I believe that an important factor in getting to that final goal of a permanent peace is the implementation of UN Security Council Resolution 1701. As we strive with your help and the essential assistance of our colleagues in the Lebanese Armed Forces to achieve that most important objective, I believe that we must also all work together to respect the spirit of 1701. Misunderstandings can lead to tension and tension is what we must at all costs avoid if we are to maintain a calm environment that will facilitate attempts by the Lebanese government to develop a final and permanent peace. An entire generation of children have grown up here in South Lebanon without knowing the fear of war. As local leaders, you along with the Lebanese Armed Forces and the Lebanese government deserve credit for achie achieving this calm and I believe is a reflection of the will of the people you represent. I hope you agree with me that this is a state of affairs we all wish to maintain. نرحب به كضيفا هو وجميع القادة والعاملين في ضمن قوات الطوارئ الدولية ولكن هؤلاء الضيوف بمهمة بمهمة سامية وعالية المستوى من الناحية الأخلاقية وهي حفظ السلام وهذا الأمر كونها مهمة سامية ومهمة عسكرية ففيها تضحية وهي عنوان العمل العسكري 